a job. I'm talking millions this time. Can you still crack a safe? Or did you get carpal tunnel from jacking off? I know we left on bad terms. You tried to murder me. Why are you even out of the joint anyway? Early release, overcrowding. Must have been packed to the gills so they couldn't cram your three foot ass in there. So actually, I have to admit, I've never saw the first Bad Santa. Really? This is my first one and I loved oh it. Absolutely God. hilarious. Did you? Yes, yeah, oh, so it was great. hilarious. I was thinking I mean, maybe you jumped in the deep end and went, no. oh my God. <laughs> no, 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 I loved it. I was like, where did this come from? I mean, were you a fan of the first one? Oh gosh, yeah. yes. Is that kind of how you kind of got the role? Did they actually approach you? or you? Well, kind of no, they just said, do you want to do it? And I said, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to talk about a little bit about your character, because the, the look, the tattoos, yes, the yes. hairstyle, you're like a bad biker mom. Yeah, and I can't remember if that's how it was written. I like to think it was all my idea, so I'm just going to say it was my idea. Exactly. I was going to say, what are the tattoos your idea, haircut? Yeah, yeah. I, and, and I was working on American Horror Story, and I had to go right from there to Montreal. So we have this wonderful FX um, makeup artist, Mike McCash, Emmy winner all the time, and he liaisoned with uh, Montreal, and we created, he created all these wonderful snake and scorpion and all spiders and stuff that we got. And some days they would last, like two or three days and I was like oh, I love this you know when I go out for dinner <laughs> or whatever oh, yeah. oh, awesome you know because I can't do that and uh, so anyway it's so much fun you didn't tell me I'd have to get in the suit again <laughs> Willie Willie it's me Thurman what are you doing you fell kid are you a complete retard no I'm top of the spectrum you are standing on my spot. Really, that's funny. I don't see your name on it anywhere. You. I'm 21. Officially a man. You're 21 already. That's creepy. And actually, I, I love the script. It was. It's raw. It's raunchy. I uh -huh. mean, how much of it is made up? Oh no, you'd be you'd be surprised. It's we gotta say those words. <laughs> Definitely, they they've worked, they've rewritten and rewritten and rewritten for a long time. They've wanted to do this movie, so you have to be pretty faithful to the script. And it was nice seeing you and Billy Bob on screen together. Oh, again. I, love I mean, him. how is it working with him? I mean, you have to punch him, kind of uh, wrestle with him a little bit. He's yeah. great. I love working with him. You know, he's 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 just deadly honest in his life and on screen. You know, and and I, that's what I have always admired about him. He's so unique, so individual. I mean, you look at, you know, uh, Sling Blade. And he's just, uh, he's, he's just so, I mean, I keep saying honest, but that's who he is. And the chance to work with him and look in those eyes and say, oh, <laughs> I better get this right. And what I love about this film, though, it, it comes across as a raunchy Christmas film, but I was telling Billy, um, at the end, it's actually a, a Christmas film. It has a lot of heart at the end. Yeah. Is that kind of surprising for you? Yeah. yeah, well, it's, it was a pleasant surprise because I just saw it put together maybe a month ago. They, I went to a screening so we could have these conversations, obviously, and and I was like, oh my God, you know, when the kid when when Thurman sings, it's like I get chills, you know, and that this, this purity of this voice is unexpected, uh, coming out of nowhere, and I I just I thought it was so dear and. The thing that made it even more dear is that it was unspoken. And at the very end, it, you know, I don't want to give it away, but it, it's the whole tenderness between them is unspoken. And it's just, I just think it's just so dear. So you haven't done it with anybody yet? No. Come on, baby. Come on. Get a bite of this pumpernickel bread. No! Minecraft, Halo 5 Guardians, Rise of the Tomb, Call of Duty, Black Ops I don't know, I don't know what you're three, talking about. You could be speaking Swahili and I wouldn't know any better. Grand Theft Auto 5. Nah, I don't care. And is there anything on your Christmas list this year that you're hoping for? Honey, I've just had so, much, so many gifts all year long. I can't even believe, I mean, I had 
great part in American Horror Story. I got my star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, I was one of Elle's Women of the Year. Uh, I've had so many wonderful opportunities to talk about my lymphedema, lymph, you know, which I had after, after my breast, and feel like I'm really helping people. I've got this amazing role in this film. I'm getting, I'm doing a sitcom with Chuck Lorre. Hello, uh, the best in the biz. And we had our first opening on Wednesday night, and the audience just flipped out. I mean, it's just an embarrassment of riches. I mean, I, I. I I've had Christmas all year long, <laughs> I guess is what I'm saying. I got an associate who's got this thing all lined up. What's it been, 15 years? Mom. One thing's for sure, you still hit like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs>